Hey guys, so I went to Sephora today and I got some stuff. So I thought that I would show you guys what I got. Um, so let's start. Also, this, I'm just having like random backgrounds at my house because I can't find like a place with good lighting. And I know that this is not a place with good lighting, but I figured like since I'm doing a haul, it's not a big deal. Um, and this will just work. So, yeah. Um, for the summer, I'm going to have to like work this out. But for now, I'm just going to kind of deal with it. Also, I fell off my bed. So I have like this nice bruise in case you guys wanted to see it. Because I know you were like dying to see my bruise. But yeah, it's really bad because I fell off my bed and landed on my knee. Um, so anyways, now let's get started. So the first thing that I picked up was the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup. And this is in the shade, I want to say 2.0. Yeah, I'm really excited because I wasn't the lightest shade. So that's great. And I'm wearing this right now. There's really bad lighting, so you can't see. But um, it's really nice. And there you can kind of see a little bit. Um, but it's really nice. I really like it. And it goes on like super smooth. And my skin is so soft. And it's super blendable. Um, I'd say it's like medium coverage. It's definitely, I'm using this as like my nighttime foundation. I have like a daytime foundation, which is my Benefit Play Stick. And that's just kind of like a cream stick foundation that I wear for every day. And then this is more of like my nighttime. Um, I used to use the HD High Definition Foundation, which I also really love, but I just kind of want to just try something new. And I love trying new things. I like don't stick with products ever unless they're like the greatest thing in the world. But I really like this. I really like Urban Decay as a brand. So I thought it would be good to support them and get an awesome foundation. And also, in case you don't know, fun little tip. Um, if you go to Sephora and you go to the Urban Decay section, any products that have a little like paw print by them is vegan. So that's something that I really like about them too because I don't have to like stand there obnoxiously and look through all of the ingredients and be like, is there lanolin in this? Is there beeswax in this? What about carmine? I don't actually know what carmine is. I've heard that it's not vegan, but I'm not. And then like mica or mica or whatever like can not be vegan I've heard I've heard that it's vegan I've heard that it's not vegan I've heard tons of different stuff about it so I don't even know what to make of that but Urban Decay labels everything for you so that's really nice and you'll see that I really like Urban Decay in this fall so the next thing that I got was the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on eye pencil in um I think it's perversion. In perversion, it's just black. Oh, I guess I'll show you like the actual video, just because I like seeing bottles. So this is what it looks like, and it's really nice. Moving right along, um, this is actually waterproof, and I love Urban Decay eye pencils. I have like a bunch of them from like palettes that I've got and stuff and I really love all of them and I really needed a new black eyeliner because okay um I heard great things about the Smashbox Limitless eyeliner or whatever I don't know if it's just me and my eyes but it did not work for me at all and now of course Smashbox tests, tests on animals so it's like kind of a mute point, but I would not recommend that at all. I just gave my mom all of my Smashbox eyeliners because I also got like a little kit of like little mini ones that had a bunch of colors in it. So now I need more eyeliners, which will all be purchased from Urban Decay. 
probably. And so, I just wanted to let you know that you shouldn't buy that. I was really, really disappointed in that product because I heard such good things about it. But I absolutely 100% like Urban Decay so much better. And this is just, I have it on right now. Um, you can kind of see, I put it like in my crease. Just a little, little smudge lit. And then I kind of blended it with like black eyeshadow just to get a nice smoky eye effect. And, um, yeah, I really like it. It's super creamy, it goes on really nicely, and it's vegan. So, like, what more can you ask for, really? Um, so, the next thing that I got, oh my gosh, this is, like, the one that I'm most excited about. So, I've been wanting this for a while. Not necessarily this particular one, but, like, something from this brand slash one of these in whatever color I could get my hands on. So, I finally got a Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tar, and I'm so excited about this. These are super pigmented. Um, they last you forever. They're a little bit pricey. They're $18, and, um, like, at first, my mom was like, that's so much for, like, a lip thing, but it is so worth it. This is actually a vegan company, so everything is vegan, so you don't, also, you don't have to be looking for the ingredients, and this is in the color Zora, Z-H-O-R-A, it's just a nice, like, kind of pale orange, it looks like nude in the, um, camera, but it's actually more of, like, an orange. And this is I really, really nice. in the store. I love it. And it even comes with, like, a little brush to put it on. If you, like, word of warning, if you don't put it on with a brush, you will make a mess of yourself. And it will be bad. Because this stuff really lasts as well. And I was in Sephora with my boyfriend earlier. And I tried on the blue one. Oh my gosh. I looked like a Smurf. It got all over my hands. It stayed on my hands. It was really bad, so use the brush. Um, and the last thing, no, not the last thing. The second to last thing, well, I'll save this one for last because this is more exciting. So I got the Sephora brand. Okay, I wanted the Urban Decay one, <laughs> obviously, because I love them so much. But they didn't have any, so I just got picked up the Sephora brand, um, I pencil sharpener and I mean this is basically it's purple it sharpens your eye pencils hopefully I like it better than my old one that's another thing that I gave to my mom I like cleaned out my makeup and gave all the stuff that I didn't want to my mom because I'm so nice who are you talking to YouTube oh sorry it's okay this is my mom I gave her all my makeup so I had the cover girl um eyeliner sharpener and it's terrible I literally like I could not twist them I had like a giant thing on one of my um eyeliners that was like killing my eye but I couldn't get it off because I couldn't sharpen it enough and it was just terrible so I got this one and I'm hoping that this one is better the last thing that I picked up was the Urban Decay Afterglow Glide On Cheek Tint in Crush and it looks like this and this is basically, I just apply it with my fingers. Um, it's basically just a cream blush that is in a little pan. So, um, I got this color. I thought it was, like, really nice for spring. And it's just kind of a bright pink. I'm wearing this as well right now. But, I mean, you can't really tell that much. I just kind of put on, like, a little bit since I was wearing, like, the red lips and everything. So... Um, I really like this. I tried it on in the store. It glides on really smoothly, and it's definitely, like, a buildable coverage. So you can put on a little bit, and it can be, like, super sheer, or you can kind of put on more, and then it gets to be, like, really pigmented. So, um, I really like that, and I really like all the things that I got, and I definitely recommend all of them. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.